Hello students. In this problem we're going to find a general solution to a second order EDE. And um, so that means there's going to be arbitrary constants involved with this uh, solution. Okay, the first thing is that um, we look for a solution of uh, the following form. Um, sometimes that's called uh, an ansatz and uh, that just means in uh, the form of in mathematical language. Okay, So you notice that um, both of these terms um, they have the same form. It's some constant e to some constant um, times t. So if I take that um, ansatz and I plug it into this differential equation then um, I'll take two derivatives of this first term and since the uh, derivative of the exponential is the exponential back again and then we use the chain rule to drop down an r. Um, when I take a second derivative I get an r squared. So um, simply put uh, rules of differentiation of the exponential function give me a c r squared e to the rt. Um, then I plug the ansatz into the first derivative term here and the r drops down because of the chain rule and I get minus 5 c r e to the rt. Then um, I have a plus 6 and remember um, that is just y so I just plug in a c e to the rt. So now I'm just going to use some algebra to simplify that a little bit. And uh, I just kind of somewhat highlighted the common factors, the c e to the rt, c e to the rt, c e to the rt. So I factor those out and um, I'm left with c e to the rt um, times r squared minus 5r plus 6. Now notice that that equation looks a lot like the original ODE except instead of the orders um, for the uh, derivatives uh, we have exponents. So second order polynomial term here corresponds to a second order derivative. First order polynomial term here corresponds to a first order derivative and zeroth order corresponds to zeroth order derivative. All right um, now notice that um, y equals zero does satisfy this ODE so uh, that is a possibility so c could equal zero and um, the factor theorem would mean that um, this term here is uh, zero or I mean the whole thing would be zero. E to the RT is not zero so um, uh, so when I factor this r squared minus 5 r plus 6 I get r minus 3 times r minus 2 so ignoring e to the RT um, since that is not zero I can just um, look at the zero factor theorem says to just look at the product of these two terms and I can solve them I get two distinct roots r1 equals 3 and r2 equals 2 and um, the only way that this term is going to be zero is if c is zero as I said. Okay so um, now that we have um, a method or a, a justification for the way that we solve this um, problem um, these types of equations um, we can just follow through with uh, using that technique and um, you see that uh, once again um, if we just observe that we have a polynomial here where the exponents match the order of the derivatives um, we get um, r squared minus 5r plus 6 and that is akin to y double primed minus 5y primed plus 6y. And then um, we just factor the characteristic equation we get the two roots and we plug those two roots into the form of our solution and um, that should be a C2. Uh, let's see if I could fix that here. Okay. And um, then we could check that solution and uh, verify. Um, if I take uh, all the respective derivatives, I should get uh, zero on the, um, as far as satisfying the ODE. And then if I take the derivatives here, yeah, the 3 drops down twice, I get a 9. The 2 drops down twice, I get a 4. And then um, f minus 5 times y prime means minus 5 times 3, and minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. And then um, if I just multiply this by 6, um, I just get 6 times that term and 6 times that term. And then when you add 9 plus 6, you get 15. Minus 15 is 0. 4 plus 6 is 10. Minus 10 is 0. And check, it does satisfy the ODE. Um, okay. That's a uh, constant coefficient, second order, homogeneous because of the zero on the right hand side, ordinary differential equation. Good luck.